came to England, I came straight to Hackney, so that was back in 1990. Um, and I've lived in this Dalston area now, on and off, for five years. I associated it as being sort of the, the sort of shady part of Hackney. 
or one of the shady areas of Hackney. I was born in Northampton while my mother was living in this house in 1945. My parents moved into the house in 1940. And they moved in because my mother was living in Sandringham Road at the time, got bombed out. My grandparents were living in Stepney and when the bombing started, or each day, they would transfer, or at least they would cross, each looking for the other to make sure that they were still alive. And so the decision was that they and my great aunt and her daughter, my grandparents and my mother move in together. Certainly for my grandparents who were immigrants, you know, to move to Hackney was a, a step up. Look around, you know, it is, it's, it's fallen on hard, on hard times. When you think that we are half an hour from the heart of London, it is sad to see. You know, you just walk along and, and there's almost despair on the faces of, of, of people who live in this area. You know, and I think that's all down to having money really invested in the area to open up jobs and open up opportunities for people. You know, I think there are a lot of talented people walking around here who just nothing to do with that talent and skill. And it's all about money. It's all about creating opportunities for people. Ever since I can remember, there were going to be changes in Dalston. And nothing was done from the end of the war until currently, really, you know, the start of that development. There was supposed to have been a major highway coming through here. There's been talk of other railway lines. A lot of years with nothing happening, they tore up all the lines, so now they're having to put down new lines. The government's generated um, putting a lot of money into the area. And always that's a good thing because people will then want to come to the area, whether it's just to travel through, stop off, hang out, or move into the area to live, you know. So it, I think it's, it's one of the best things that could possibly have happened to Hackney, and Dolson desperately needed it. Maybe putting in this uh, new line will make a difference, but I somehow don't think so, because, the, the, you know, the, the transport that's available at the moment, you know, can move you out to wherever you need to be. You know, it's, uh, the only thing is there's no tube, and there still will be no tube. You've still got to go either west or east. I mean, I don't know if what I'm envisaging <laughs> is going to happen, but what I expect is a lovely, modern, state-of-the-art um, station that the, 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 the actual people who live in the area are going to be more trendy and more youthful and more exciting and more diverse and that it will generate a lot of work as well for the locals.